Rightio, this is us trying out our first bell siphon on Kira's and Mayer's aquaponic system, bell, barrelponic system. I say Kira and Mayer's, it's a project for their school to understand how the bacteria cycle works with the fish and the vegetables. This one here, I haven't made a bell up for this one here yet, so I'm just going to see if this design I've got here works. Right, it's just coming up to level, I think it's got to the top of the L. Yeah, I'll lift you, sweetie. There we go, it's just starting to run underneath if you want to have a look, Maya. The pipe on the right there. We're back up, yes, the water's running there. They can see that, there we go, the siphon's working, it's kicked in. See that? And starting to empty off the top. The siphon's starting to slow down a bit now, and it's broken early. Mmm. Okay then. Water's just starting to come through. I glued the cap on. I think that's why it wasn't creating a um, proper siphon before. And there we go, the siphon's kicked in. That's rear range the pump hose, I think. So that's the siphon. And that's the water dropping drastically up the top there. We'll see how we go this time. This is actually the third try. This is actually the third try. I had a go a couple of minutes ago and um, yeah, I couldn't get a siphon to start. Here we go. And that's the end of the siphon. No, it's still going. It's got to do with this too much inflow up here the other end. I know what the problem is. So I'll just try and counteract that by reducing the flow a bit. There we go. That's the siphon broken. So, still playing with it. Got a lot to do, so better get back to it. She's all done. Up and away. I'll just run you through what we've done. Um, there's a few little minor changes that have been made. The pipe at the front has been cut and altered slightly. We now have a 90 degree fitting at the end. It's about to get loud so I'll move away from there. Um, that's just to form a bit of resistance on the um, outflow to help the siphon create. Up in these shrouds. These shrouds are working excellently. See the holes drilled in the side down there. The only problem we did have this morning, someone pulled this lid off and they're very tight fitting caps. It actually lifted the shroud up. Some beads got caught underneath and they're actually coming through the waistline down the bottom. Well, not the waistline, the return line. Luckily, hard on you. Luckily I was washing the clay balls at the time so the water was running out onto the lawn so we got to save the clay balls. Um, what else? Yeah, so they're all washed and up. We got uh, three litres of um, these clay balls from the local hydroponic shop. They have an aquaponic system set up using um, their goldfish they use to feed a big Saratoga in there. So I'll stick a link down in the description. Big thank you to those guys. Um, some lettuce has been put in, it was just purchased at a local um, hardware shop and the roots have been washed off as you can see in the water, 
the roots were washed off and then the lettuce mix was planted in the bed. So we've got six of them in there. There's actually um, eight, there's a, actually ten, nine, sorry. Um, there's a couple of double ups, as you can see there, two different types of lettuce. Kira planted those ones for her video a bit earlier. Um, celery, that's one we purchased at, uh, at Aldi. It was upstairs living in a ramekin, shooting roots, so he decided, we decided to move it out here. Got a bit of, on the modifications, bit of string, um, just tied in clove hitch on both sides just to pull them in. I've seen on a couple of different systems around the place that they um, tend to bulge out after a while. Down the back here, I'll do the power first while that's running. I've got an extension cord. He's all nice and firmly attached to bits and pieces. Once down here we have a drip loop, so if any moisture collects on here it'll drip off down the drip loop. Straight into a uh, waterproof, weatherproof box onto the pump. Um, another drip loop and then over there just got a velcro tie onto this uh, waste pipe oh, sorry onto the feeder pipe for the beds just so we can pull off the, uh, the velcro and get to him the waste the overflow emergency overflow whatever you want to call it um, is zipped or cable tied there the other one is held there with the feed line um, the actual thing itself is made out of um, an old lounge uh, suite we I couldn't dare part with. Um, so I've just two ends of two lounges. Um, just one's inverted and bolted on to form a rectangle. And the cross members of the top are a futon lounge I couldn't part with. I cut all the metal off so we've got it. To use a scrap, a bit of bracing. Um, the feed-in lines have changed a bit. I chopped them off and spun them around, whacked the tap in the middle, and I just have a 90 degree elbow going straight down into the clay balls, hopefully to stop any algae growth. So that's pretty much all it. All the holes have been sealed up. So the only way out now is the emergency overflow all over the sides. So that's pretty much all it. Very happy with the whole way the thing's gone. Um, that there's a bit of broken terracotta on top of a a um, a oh, what would you call it? A basket. It's like an NFT basket, a large one from the hydroponic shop. I've just cut out a bit of the grill at the bottom. Um, that's just sitting over the top of the pump, and that's holding it down. Uh, the day we went in to buy the pump from the hydroponic shop, the guy told us that. Um, They'd lost a goldfish the night before. He actually got his fin swam a bit too close and got sucked into the pump intake. So I don't know if he survived or not, but um, he suggested we buy that and stick that over the top. So that's all hunky dory. Oh, on the um, nutrient side of things, um, did a pH test. Uh, it's seven. I just used the garden pH kit. I don't have the other one. I got a complete kit from Backyard Aquaponics ordered through. Um, it's just taking its time getting here from Western Australia, thanks Australia Post. So I was, I ordered it on Monday and thought it would be here by today, Friday. But unfortunately, it didn't make it. I might have ordered it Tuesday, not too sure, but I thought I would have made it by now. Um, but like I said, the PH is 7. I'm pretty sure the goldfish will be able to take that. There was one that was swimming slightly sideways before when they went in, but I haven't seen him since. So... I take it he'd be floating if he wasn't feeling too well. So that's pretty much all it. Up and running. We'll see how it goes. And we'll give you updates as we go along with it. The IBC one's only getting marginally closer to being done. I'm cleaning off the Besser bricks, just getting the cement. Some of them were cemented in place, some of them were mortared in place. So they're the second hand ones I'm cleaning up. So hopefully we'll make a start on that so it's in before spring. Yeah, so very happy with that. And you all have a good one. See ya. Just a quick footnote to the uh, video on aquaponics. We've had a bit of a problem. Um, I think the fish went in too early. Um, we lost four of them. They were all 
looking nice and healthy two, three hours afterwards, after they went in. And then we went down last night to show Bianca after she got home from work at six o'clock. And there was one left swimming, two were on the bottom. Um, this guy looks pretty alert and awake, keeps reacting to us, so he, he's fine. But two were on the bottom side swimming and two were dead. So, done something wrong. Um, the only thing I can think of is, it wouldn't be too much uh, ammonia. It was probably too much dust left circulating through the water, damaging their gills. Um, should have been patient, but hey, I'm up for fish slaughter now. So, this little fella, we'll see how he goes today. He looks pretty active, he's just been fed. We will top up the water, by the way. We're just getting some ready to go in, getting the chlorine out. This is just some water I had spare in the bucket from when they went in to the system. So, that's my aquaponics update. Off to a roaring start. Have a good one.